Can't you tell they want me to fail? Uh, don't uh, forget the dollar signs. On the grind, better watch me put. Uh, can't you tell they want me to fail? On the grind, better watch me prevail. Yo, everybody, it's your boy Mario Govern in the building. Here with Game Made Me. We got another one, Debo Scotty in the building. Get the dollar sign. Our <laughs> moves only, the grind never stops. We here, man. We here. That's what's Good up. With you, man. That's what's up, man. Debo Scotty. Take chillin', baby. Yes, sir. Trying try to make it, man. Trying to make it. For sure. <coughs> Appreciate the grind, man. Man, you yes, know sir. it. And be out here doing the thing. Tell us a little bit about Debo Scotty. So, uh, born and raised, Lansing, Michigan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, age of 27, be 28, couple months, you know what I'm saying? Uh, real chill, laid back dude, really, you know what I'm saying? Positive, motivated dude, hustler, grinder, you know what I'm saying? Motivational, inspirational, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just been working hard, man, just staying out the way. And I live in GR right now, reside out there. Just trying to just bring movements with Lance and Grand Rapids together, you know what I'm saying? 517, 616. So I've been out there for about eight years. So just trying to just keep the movement going, bro. Power moves only. The guy never stops, you know what I'm saying? Lifetime testimony. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it moving forward for everybody and others. All right. Yes, man, sir. It, this one, this one a little different too, man, because I personally know. You know what I'm saying? Debo Scotty. You know what I'm saying? I went to high school with him, played in open nah. gym together, all, you know, the whole nine yards. So, Took you know, him back for sure. to see yeah, him come days. to at least trying to, you know what I'm saying, have this hustle, that grind, and getting it and taking these trips and doing these things like that, man. It's yeah, good to man. see him do that, man. So sure, appreciate you. That's what's up, man. So, what made you want to become a rapper? Uh, really just listening to music back in the day. My brother, older brother, you know what I'm saying? He about like 10 years older than me. So he was already listening to them tapes and all that, like Snoop Dogg and, you know what I'm saying, Master P. And he had the cassettes, though. He mm -hmm. had a cassette case, you know what I'm saying? Carrying a cassette case around, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Young as hell, so I don't really know what I'm yeah. saying. I got tapped into that, really just listening to that. Jay-Z and all that. He had the CD, then he went to CD. So, you know, everything's just going up. Mm -hmm. He was already on that, went from tapes to CDs. So, like, I was just listening to that from that type of music. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop, all that. Jada Kiss, he had all that type of lyrical type of music. So, I was already hip to that. That's why I kind of rap like that now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that type of, uh, that era was, that was the good era type of music. You feel me? So, right. <laughs> so like, are you more on the, like, freestyle side or you, like, write? I mean, I, I write. I write. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, when I make music, it got to, all illustrate towards like what I'm vibing towards to, you know what I'm saying? So Correct. everything I write is off the first, like off the beat, you know what I'm saying? What kind of vibe I get off the beat, you know what I'm saying? And if I get a like a catchy, you know what I'm saying, inspirational or just like a hustling type, you know what I'm saying, beat or that, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. just a lovey girls track, you know what I'm saying? It's just off the vibe, but it's all motivational towards the end, you know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's the little message I'm trying to put towards each track, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, you know yeah. And get the whole concept from it. Mm -hmm. I ain't playing. How long you been rapping for? Man. I would guess serious rapping. Like yeah, when, serious when rapping. You was serious about it. Yeah, not, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, like for real, you already know from high school though. I was rapping, though. right? Like but that's little, I know, like Lil Debo and you know what I'm Debo's saying, Punchline me, King God, and all that, because I was really on them bars, like yeah. the, you know what I'm saying. I, I called mean. myself Punchline King and just because, like you know what I'm saying, I whatever. But I was really on that, like so, mm -hmm. yeah, 2006, 2007, eight, and then like far as like yeah, figuring out life balance. You know what I'm saying? Do I really want to do this again? You know what I'm saying? So like 2014. Like when I start really investing into it and say, all right, I'm going to take trips, spend money on a video, mm -hmm. go to Miami, you know what I'm saying? Budgets, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. All that, yeah. Like the whole nine yards, studio time, this, that, coming to going to crack a last shot, you know what I'm saying? Going back and forth to Grand Rapids, Lansing, like that type, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like 2014 and then like 17 with the merch and all that, as far as like really establishing like a real brand, like a real movement. Mm -hmm. 2017, yeah. Right, okay. I'm not playing. That's what's up. So, like, what's a few uh, hits songs for like from Debo Scotty? Like, the few tracks. songs that you know that. Yeah, like, that I'm talking about as soon as you in. drop. Like, yeah, yeah like, you know. for sure. Uh, I got one called Gas. That was on my first first tape called The Grind Never Stops. It's called Gas. You know what I'm saying? It's a little smoking track. Counting his cash, blowing his gas. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. 
that's simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody doing that, right? Yeah. <laughs> For the most part. Correct. <laughs> that one. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like motivational tracks is like Prevail. That's one of my recent ones. Everybody's been tapped in with that heavy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to King Kosh. He produced that. He from GR. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got one called Hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's a motivational track where I did at my store out there in GR. It's called uh, Drip of Beauty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's uh, with uh, Zap Foreign featuring mm-hmm. him, you know what I'm saying, from Ben Harbor. You know what I'm saying? He's been putting in words, so I got him out there. So it's, I got that one. And a lot of people just been tapping in with that. Uh, There's a lot of them, man. Like, I just got a lot of little... It's like... They like gems, you know what I'm saying? Like right. that. Like, so if you really pay attention, you will really tap in, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of them. I got a uh, shot... You know what I'm saying? Taking my shot. Why are they hating? I am what they not. You feel me? Like yeah. stuff like that. So that's another one. Dre Low. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Warren. You already know that's his uh, nephew. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Dre Low Beats. He made that. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Everett. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. So everybody working, man, in their own way, man. Yeah. For sure. Like, what other artists do you plan on working with? Like, I man. know you was talking about you was working with artists in GR and different yeah, things yeah. like that. Like, do you plan on trying to work with big artists? Like, are you about oh, to yeah, be tapping yeah. in, like, with Yeah, right now I just started... Michigan w- music. Yeah, working with... I just worked with Zap. That was, like, a couple months ago. You know what I'm saying? So he pulled up on me. You know what I'm saying? He been working. He busy as hell. He live in Atlanta. So I had to tap in and catch up with him while he was in Michigan. Mm-hmm. And then I got, uh, got some upcoming features, too. Uh, SBE Mikey, you know what I'm saying? You know, off Boosie album, Boosie mm-hmm. tape, you know what I'm saying? Badass yeah. syndicate, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So I got him on the way. And I got T-Rail, you know what I'm saying? He That's out right now. Level up, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's on digital platforms. So he did like a hook, you know what I'm saying? That's what's so, up. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of tracks. I got tracks with a lot of Lance artists, too. You know what I'm saying? Kenny, Kenny V, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Diamond, you know what I'm saying? Right. D-Chess, you know what I'm saying? So I I try to make sure I, I, I build everybody up, spread out, you know what I'm saying, and work with everybody, you know what I'm saying, while I can. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's the most... But yeah, it's really been. Do you got like business. a main focus, like that you like uh, a couple artists that you want to work with? You know what I'm saying? Because you got this vision, this song, like you know what I'm saying that you feel like you know what I'm saying they yeah. being featured on a. Uh, to me, to be honest, I haven't even thought about that. To be honest, I've really been focused on my own, like really building my own. Yeah. So by the time I get to them, I already got something to the table. You know what I'm saying? Right. To be able to tap in. All the time, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I've just been networking like that. I got some stuff on the flow, but as far as like not making it wasted as an opportunity, or you know what I'm saying? Right. Make sure it really stamp, like, okay. But as far as I've just been really focusing on my own like lane, like, yeah. and it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, for sure. I'm not playing, man. Uh, so tell us about your clothing line. Like, it's so many different forms. I'm seeing yeah. Power Moves Only, you know, yeah, Debo yeah. Scotty. You got a shirt, you know what I'm saying, yeah, right yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate what, 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 what the $10 dollar sign stand yeah. for? TGNS, The Grind Never Stops. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The Grind Never Stops. Self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. So it, 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 what you doing? <laughs> <Right>. It don't matter <laughs> what you doing, bro. Yeah. Like, really. You know what I'm saying? Fortunately, positive and negative. You know what I'm saying? You get into the money. You get, into, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you, the negative, you got you striving for, you know what I'm saying? In the negative, though. You're trying to do positive. You're trying to do right in the negative. You know what I'm saying? But you know the grind never stops. That's why you like, I got to provide. I got to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my point is to really strive for positive right. with the grind never stops. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I got really like tapped in with a lot of people globally. You know what I'm saying? They really will listen to the music, tell me that, like, all right, I really understand the grind never stops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'll kind of be inclined with the merch and the music. So they might go to the merch first, then go to the music and be like, all right, now I really get it. Yeah. Or you know, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be right crazy. First, yeah. You know what I'm saying? One example, I was in Flint. I had a pop-up out there. This little girl, she probably about like 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? She got, she had some shirts. You know what I'm saying? She bought a shirt. No, she bought a mask. Mm-hmm. She bought a mask. And... She just bought it, you know what I'm saying? Just was like, all right. And Ten minutes later, she came back was like, what does TGNS even mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I guess just the facts of the four letters right there, you know what I'm saying? Like, the grind never stops, you know what I'm saying? She didn't even know what it meant. But when I told her, she's like, all right, all right, cool, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That just got her like, all right, so now I can wear it. With a, and that's what a lot of people doing. People just wearing the mask, wearing the shirt, wearing whatever, like. Right. 
working out, training, you know what I'm saying? It ain't got no matter what you're doing. You right. know what I'm saying? My man's was wearing a, a hoodie in the top of the tree one day. Yeah, I seen you post that. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I mean, they know. don't know. Ain't no more talking after that, bro. For it's real. real dedication. So that should let you I know appreciate the, everybody the, doing the that. The hoodies should take good care of you up high in the air, man, with that, that wind. Man. For sure, for sure, man. Just the message alone though. You feel me? Yeah. He wearing the he wearing the message up there working. Yeah. At the top of the tree. You know what I'm saying? He making sure them power moves is being established. You feel me? Right. So, so he can make sure he go home, provide for his family, kids, the whole nine yards. How you bro. get that picture? Uh he had it on Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's how I'm saying these people, uh, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody that tap in and really support the movement because they just post it on their own, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't like, hey, let me send a picture, da da. So it's like they really organically feel the movement. Yeah. And the majority of them are repeated customers or you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So or supporter, repeated supporters that they always tap in, like, I need this, I need that, I need that. And it just just keep building. Yep. That's what's up, man. Uh, what's the most favorite piece of clothing you uh, that you sold? Like, what's what's the most piece? Like, you know, out of Debo, Scotty, Power Moves Only, uh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? The Grind Never Stops. Like, them different categories. Like, what's the most that you have sold out of? Yeah. Which one? I mean, from starting off, starting off probably Power Moves Only. I just had, like, one main or two. Yeah, one main colorway. And it was just going, like, going, going, going. Like, I was even at work, you know what I'm saying? Just going. I, I just had, like, 10 sets of shirts. And they're just jugging them, bro. <laughs> just like the streets, bro. Same way, bro. Every way, every shirt was a dub. Yeah. I just treated it like that and just flipped up, re-up, re-up, re-up. But that was the main one, just to make sure I had something out here that people can, like, okay, I got this. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if you move too fast and people ain't caught up to you know what I'm saying? That's why you got to slow down and you'll go at your own pace. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So by that time, I was able to expand. You know what I'm saying? My queen, we started doing it our own. Started making our own stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A1 quality. You know what I'm saying? So after that, we started expanding as far as colorways and making sure that different apparel, you know what I'm saying? Different merch lines and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So now we got the lady line coming soon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is a lot of just steps, 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 steps. You know what I'm saying? As far as customers' feedback too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ask for the crop top, da da da, biker shirt, da da. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you start expanding more because other people wanted to expand, that's the best part. You feel me? Yeah. Depot Scotty, that's man. How did the game make you? How to becoming a rapper? Own your own brand, clothing line, different forms and everything like that. How did yeah. it make you like the man who you are today? For sure. Game made me. I had to think about this one. <laughs> Life's in life trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what made me, you know what I'm saying? That's the game in, in general, you know what I'm saying? Life is trials and tribulations. And after that, once you know how to accomplish that, you can Accomplish all, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real. for real, and that's how I've been feeling. Like that's how it is. Just stay positive, stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? Stay humble. That's really, really. That's what it really is. When you stay humble, all it'll come to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. While going out, it, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's forced. You know what I'm saying? That way, it's way easier. So yeah, definitely keeping organic. You know what I'm saying? Through the trials and tribulations, we gonna always win. You feel me? Yeah, that's what's up, man. Talk yes, briefly sir. about like what's next for Debo Scotty, either what's rap next? career or clothing. Like the next yeah. little, you know. I mean, when these just drop, you know what I'm saying. Got the windbreaker, you know what I'm saying. PMO windbreakers, yeah, they just drop. So that's something new Power for this. Yeah. And then it got the back. I don't know if they can see the back, but it's TGMS. Stand up a little yeah, bit. You know, just just a little bit. Yeah. 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 We kind of did like a, a versus, you know what I'm saying? So how you remember with the verses they got going on with yeah. the PMO and the TGNS, that's what you was asking, which one is selling the most or something like that. Yeah. But like, it's really both. So I got people that want that and I got people that want that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that way I kind of like put it in a versus type way in my way, you know what I'm saying, for the merch. And then that way you still got both on, on your... You still rocking both, but right. you know which one you rock with the best. Somebody might see the the back first and be like, I like that. Right. And then you turned around and, yo, I like that one better. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then that's how the verses come. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you still like both. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? Recipe DMX. You know that, you know what I'm saying? DMX and Snoop, right? Mm-hmm. But you know you fuck with both. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's, at the end of the day, it was still competition as a battle. So I kind of used that with my burnt merch and brand. So that's what we've been doing with uh, a lot of the new apparel and all that. We got the ladies line of that, one with the ladies logo, you know what I'm saying, front and back. Mm-hmm. And then Scotty Caution, you know what I'm saying? Some good TAC drink, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to King Cosh. We got a collab. 420s, you know what I'm saying? So by that time, we'll be out, you know what I'm saying? Good drink, you know what I'm saying? Good drink, Juice, you see it. (laughs) You see it. Yes, sir. Uh, So where can we find Debo Scotty, social media or music? Uh, Social media, at Debo Scotty, D-E-B-O, and it's S-C-O-T-T-Y. And then that's for uh, Facebook, for the music page, Debo Scotty, the dollar sign. Uh, Instagram was that, Debo Scotty. S C O T T Y, you know what I'm saying? The all digital platforms, Debo Scotty Dollar Sign for music, you know what I'm saying? On YouTube, Debo PMO is my YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? Go subscribe, tap <coughs> in, follow the movement, follow the videos, the music, content, you know what I'm saying? Motivational grind, motivational streetwear. That's how tap, it is, man. Tap in, tap, tap in. in. Game ain't me, you feel me? You know it. PMO you know it. TGNS. Uh, like, uh, do you look to want to get signed? Do you want to get signed, or do you want to be an independent artist? Uh, man, to be honest, independent is the the best way. And this time of era we're going right now, as far as like, if you know your lane, mm-hmm. you know your. I'll say, if you know your lane, go independent. If you don't know what to do and you trying to just get on and, <laughs> and all that, the label is gonna do that for you. But. Eight out of ten. I've been in the. I've been in this business for real, for real, for like like three years, bro. Going out of town, understanding, going around these meetings and talking to the top dog people. Like you know, what I'm saying right now is independent. You feel me? Like right now is making sure you know what you're trying to build your own movement, your own label, your own label. You feel me? That's what everybody doing now. They they got their own label, but they partnering with. With someone that's big, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for example, with Pooh Shiesty and Gucci, you feel me? Like, he has his own label, but he signed to 1017. Right. It's still a partner, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not even like the label label. Right. <laughs> so right. he still can do his chop up, you know what I'm saying, and all that, and everybody winning while he's still just eating with him. Right. It ain't, you know what I'm saying, still independent. And that's just the way of independence now. It's not like you're just gonna literally do everything by yourself and you're just by yourself. Right. <laughs> you see, I got my queen right here. Like it's just like you're not gonna do nothing by yourself. Like that's over. That's dead. Like that's why you really need a team. You really need like a unit that's just gonna keep moving every t- by you going one person doing this, one person doing that. That's how you really make the independence. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You feel I, me? Yeah, I know. And, you and in full team, circle. But, you know, I'm just saying, as in being signed to a record label or just having your own thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Billion Dollar Baby. You know oh, yeah. That's, dollar that's, Sign Records, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's the whole movement. Dollar yeah. Sign Records. So that's already been established. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Already trademarked all that. So, like, it's just as far as just keeping that as a unit. Right now, it's just me. You feel me? So. Right. Until it's, you know what I'm saying, I'm up, I'm up, then I can have other, I still got people around that's shadowing and all that, but they not like on the, you know what I'm saying, because I got my own label, I just got to just make sure it's established enough to make sure people can be like, all right, I want to go to him, he know how to business, he how to know how to market, he know how to do all that, he know how to talk to people that's already big time, that's working at Casanova and all that, you know what I'm saying, it's just networking, you feel me, and those skills is not that easy to find, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Within an artist, you know what I'm saying? But that's why I stay like just not rushing that part yet. But it's definitely dollar sign records, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget the dollar sign. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an independence for sure, bro. It's mm-hmm. been going so hard, so there's no point. It was like, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it would have to be a partnership, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like an empire or something like that. You still keep your independence, your distribution. So, you know what I'm saying? At that, at this point, if yeah. I was going to go somewhere, like, you feel me? Yeah, especially with that record uh, label. That's what's up. <laughs> And everybody eating in so many different ways now. You just sit back on YouTube now and just run it up. They'll come to you. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. And all social media. So. For real. Yeah, Before man. we get out of here, though, man, you want to talk a little bit about that uh, Black Owned Champagne? Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Put a song. Put a song. Yeah. What's that? You know that? what I'm saying? Some good mo too. You know what I'm saying? They out of GR, Black Owned. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Willie the Kid. My man, Jonathan Jenkins. You know what I'm saying? A couple other men, they out there working hard, man. Shout out to the team. I just had to support them. Black owned business, you feel me? Put on, pop mm. this off real quick. 
ain't playing. No major, man. Man, fun fact, man. I don't know if y'all know, man, but uh, Deontay, man, he, he he Jamaican, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Fact. <laughs> yes, he yeah, said, I'm yeah, ma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely had to put on. That's what's good. I don't know if you're uh, shorty having some. Good, nah, no, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, man. That's what's up, though, man. Like I. I, I don't I'm not a big champagne type of guy, you know what I'm saying? But when it yeah, happened, I've been it on champagne for like past uh what, five, six months, something mm. like that. Just on some uh this is just you know what I'm saying, it's just a different vibe, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you ain't gonna wake up to Henny. Right. So, so you <laughs> Yeah, so you don't drink hard liquor like I mean that? I do. Oh. I do, but my thing is I've been been switching it up on like even for black owned, like I've been drinking some Mary J. Blige, you know what I'm saying? Sun Goddess. She got her own champagne. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, See, I ain't even hip on yeah, it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? Even the Snoop Dogg. I've been drinking that. That's that's smooth. You know what I'm saying? The Cali Rose, whatever. And then the, uh, the guy, he got a red wine. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to get you right, though. Yeah, yeah. Bubbly. Bubbly. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, uh, it's a couple, you know what I'm saying? Even entrepreneurs, a lot of entrepreneurs in that field, though, a lot in wine and all that, you know what I'm saying? Modest Star Meyer, remember him from basketball, NBA, mm-hmm. D Wade, I seen that on Drink Champ, CJ McCullum, you know what I'm saying? I actually learned half of them from Drink Champ, like, you know what I'm saying? Jay Prince, he got loyalty, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tap in with that, like, it's a lot of just people just marketing in their own ways, and that's why, as far as entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, got my own wine, you know what I'm saying? Who knows, like. Dumb divisions. <laughs> All that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. This tastes nice. Yeah, it's you know, a little rich, but it feel like it, it, yeah, it's yeah, real bubbly. Yeah. yeah. It gets you right, though. Like, yeah. Your kick. You know what I'm saying? I'm on point. Well, yeah, man. Make sure y'all tap in with Debo Scotty, man. Go like, subscribe, listen to his music on all platforms. And make sure y'all tune in to Game Made Me, man. We got some more coming in, some more good heat on the floor, man. So make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. Send me who y'all want to see on here. Send me questions. The whole nine yards, man. It's lit. Peace. So, PMO, TGNS. Fail. Uh, don't forget the dollar sign. On the grind, better watch me, but... Uh, can't you tell they want me to fail? What?